Joining us now is a man who uh, had a front row seat to watch his brother do his thing just a few weeks ago. First time he's ever done that. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to get tickets for SeatGeek. He uh, just went through uh, the NFL pretty much. Yep. Roger yep. Goodell said, here you go, pal. We'll put you wherever the hell you want. Mm -hmm. You're one of the greatest of all time. You're already in the Houston Texans ring of honor. There's only three people in there. You're going to be in the Hall of Fame soon. And every single Wednesday, you're going to swear all over ESPN and ruin a program. Ladies and gentlemen, J.J. Watt. Yeah, J.J. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey. Great to be here. <laughs> Yeah, that's AJ, what... you drive with two feet? What the hell? Bingo, JJ. Thank you for being a human Try with a brain. <laughs> Why does that happen? You think? That can't be real. It's real. That can't be real. He thinks he's a race car driver, this guy. He does. Like race car drivers, you know, because gas is here, mm -hmm. brake is here, and they start in go-karts where literally one's on one side and one's on the other. They use both, uh, both feet because it's more efficient, they say. That's what AJ says he's doing while he's driving a minivan or a F-150 truck around Ohio. Right, AJ? I don't want to speak out of pocket. Yes, very efficient. I never ride the brake. You act like I am riding the brake with my left foot. I am not. I am hovering over top of it, and I <laughs> depress the brake very slowly when I need to. That can't be real because hip flexor, obviously, and quad would wear out yep. while you're doing that. Unless he, you know, so he's... Dorsal flexion. We got it. <laughs> Anyway, a lot of modalities, a lot of modalities. What do you think about the modalities that Aaron's doing? What if this guy comes back I, from an Achilles tear in the same season, JJ? It would be unbelievable. It would be uh, truly unbelievable. You are about to say the F word again. Wow. Yeah, you were. That's no, no, I'm not, I'm not swearing today. I'm not swearing today. No swears. Not even, uh, not even little swears. Well, I already said hell, so we got that one out of the way. That's no, not no real. Come on. That's a place. That's, yeah. place. that's, yeah. in, uh, that's in the book. No. It it is. Person, it place, is. or thing. That's in the book. No, my grandma, my grandma joked with me after last week's show. She, she sent me like a jokingly scolding text and then said, I'm just kidding. I love that show. I just have one question. The, how come nobody ever asks that AJ any questions? Well, you talk to him a little bit. He's, he, so I said, all right, Grandma, what do you got for him? And she didn't have any questions for me, but uh, AJ, I'm talking to you on behalf of my grandma. Hell yeah. Hey, Go, thank Grandma. grandma. I appreciate her watching the show. Tell her I'll be all right. They don't have to ask me any questions. I usually get to ask other people questions. Yeah, and Grandma, you probably see the good in everybody, and we appreciate that. AJ's normally dropping in trying to do the complete opposite. Right. You know what I mean, Grandma? And I'll tell you. Oh, no. How? <laughs> How is this possible? Yeah, because you're a pig. Mm -hmm. That's right. Put it in our head. Gee. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't love it either. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, we, you're on. If you did percentage of Showtime yeah. a pie chart, you would you'd have a lot bigger piece of the pie than me. This is not good. Yeah, I mean, your discipline has certainly been something that has been called into question numerous times in this particular Thunderdome <sighs> after the show and what you've done. Uh, two of mine that we would be tied for the lead alongside Tone Diggs and D Bud, who is just so careless. Right? Yeah, yeah ridiculous. Ridiculous. we would be right next to each other, but. I had, I dropped two F-bombs because Bill Belichick was on a ring camera, mm -hmm. shirtless, looking like a dog. <laughs> and I couldn't contain yes. myself. I completely forgot. No. So that's going to be tough. Who could? Yeah. Oh, we are Why is there an asterisk? Yes. Why is there an asterisk? Did you guys break this down class? on CBS? Or? Yeah, did you guys talk about this video and what it might do to yeah. inspire the boys yeah. in Germany? Yeah, we went in-depth into this video. <laughs> uh, Smart. I mean, just an absolute unit. Just a purebred yes. unit. Dog. Right Look at that. Absolute dog. That was my takeaway, too. They're like, what was he doing? He's like, who cares? Look at him. This yeah, guy yoked. is a beast right now. Yeah. Uh, all yeah. right. We, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Your show. All right. Well, I didn't know if you were going to compliment Bill Belichick there. We're open to those because I think he's getting fired. Oh, I mean, yeah. the guy clearly does does some some pecs, some delts. Yep. Some, he does a little it's bit of everything. Neck. That guy doesn't skip gym day. You think he's on a Peloton in the office while watching film, or you think he's squatting in the office while watching film? How do you think he gets it in? I would say uh, I would say squatting is that, – that body type fits squatting more than it fits Peloton, I would say. That, that's uh, – Look at that. Just barrel chest. That is the definition of a barrel chest. Yes. Right there. Yeah, there was a guy in the back here who was just speaking completely out of pocket whenever he watched that. Look at that, look, look at that little weakling, I think. Yeah, he's I don't get say weakling. I said bag guy. of milk. We're just going to lie right, everybody now. We're just going to gas everybody up all the time for no reason. He's 70 plus years of age. Yeah. This is J.J. Watt <laughs> saying the guy's a barrel <laughs> yeah. unit. JJ's a nice yeah, guy. That back, that back row back there has some issues with Don't the drag me in, okay, so JJ. Let's, He's a dog. Let's do that, okay? So we haven't let's. got a chance to chat a little bit. Uh, Gumpy, how Burnley do, huh? We're on the up and up, so we got good. Yeah. I see the hat's still on the owner here. They were tied with Arsenal 70 minutes in. They fought hard. 0-0? Zero, zero? Uh, lost 3-1. Oh, no, it's one one. International. It one one. International break now. Tough match with West Ham after that. Hammers? But, the Hammers. JJ, 
Sheffield, Wolves, Everton, and Fulham in December. We got to have points there, lad. Big month yes, coming up. Man. I agree. Thank you, Gump. Thank you for a little positivity, Gump. I appreciate that. I agree. After this international break, we go on a little run, and then into the new year, we have plenty of time. Plenty of time. We're going to go on a run. We're going to be good. You know what to say. The days are long, but time flies. You know, uh, so this season's going to pass before we even notice. And if Burnley doesn't start accruing some sort of points, what are we talking, Gump? What are we? Uh, what are? The, I don't know. I don't think I know the soccer well enough over there. Uh, right now, they are in the relegation zone. Oh, come on, JJ! What? JJ, we can't have that. What? No, we can't have that. No, I. No, we can't have it. I agree. And that's part of the beauty of sport. It's the ups and the downs. You live and die with your squad, and you don't back out when things get hard. You don't walk away from your squad when yeah. things go a little sideways. Yeah. You stick by their side, you wear the crest, and you go out there and you fight again. Almost dropped an F-bomb there, was going to, and I didn't. That's because you're yeah. an owner. Very much Good to go, go. Hey, oh, hey, 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 yeah. Progress. And I like the motivational speech that you just said there, and hopefully that'll find its way to the boys during this international break. Where's Tyler? I want to know where Tyler uh-huh. and Dude Perfect are. Yeah. They need to be talking to the boys on how we score some more goals in sweet ways. Well, unfortunately not great yeah. because I wonder if Tyler and the boys are a little more preoccupied with the Texas A&M coaching search because I believe they are Texas A&M alumna. So, you know, I don't know if they're kind of, if they got their, their eggs mm. in that basket right now and not Did they contribute? The basket. Did they, I mean, they got a lot of money. Did they contribute to that buyout? Because, my goodness, is there a better job in the world than a fired college football coach? Are you thinking about no. taking the next one? Um, yeah, and then I'm going to try and get fired on day one. That would be great. I just get, I mean, big he's... buyout, no deferral. I uh, would love for it to be Texas A&M because they seem to have a lot of money down there. Um, my favorite, the, I mean, I'm sure you guys have talked about it, but the fact that they presented at halftime of that game, a hundred and the boosters presented a hundred and sixty three million dollar check, and then they fired their coach right after. That is one of the biggest flexes I have ever seen in my entire life. Let's wait for the team to get back on the field here too, just so Jimbo can see this. The guy that actually or the the family that wrote the check. This is from us. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Half time. What do you think this one's for, pal? Oh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Go uh, ahead and enjoy these two quarters. It's the last time you him, got with one of these seeing whistles. that check and knowing exactly what it was for. Oh, no. Oh, oh. my gosh. Did we? Hunter, that's a lot of money. <laughs> what are you guys going to do with that? We already rebuilt the stadium. There's, <laughs> we're good new there. Uniforms? New uniforms? Yeah. <laughs> somebody, on his, oh. somebody on his. Somebody on his. I, mean, I think that's surely if I yeah. really? surely if I win this game fifty one to ten, you're not gonna fire me after this, right? No, no oh. way. Oh. No way oh. you'd be able to do that. Uh, let's oh move to NFL God. football. Let's move to a little bit of NFL football. Is that San Diego? San Diego, yes. You stay classy, San Diego. What was the old ship? What did it stand for? Yeah, what was it? Uh, it's an old, old wooden ship. I'm trying. Uh, diversity. Uh, this is no, no, right, uh, no. Yes. Yeah. No. Diversity. Uh, what does San Diego stand for? What does it stand no, for? No, no. City of Angels. City of Angels. No, no, no. That was That's no, LA. Something to do with a whale? I think it was a whale. Whale, whale, whale right? right. Um, <laughs> what was it, AJ? 60% of the time, it works every time. Was it a dork? I think. That was in there, uh, but I don't think it was a sand. A dork panther. can be involved. Sex Panther does. That is it in there. It bears. Yeah. You put the dork in it. Yeah. That, yeah. that was in the movie. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't recall. Really? I don't recall. Wow. I AJ, grandma AJ could tell my grandma. Yeah. 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 So yeah. in the pants. Don't you think? All right, let's move on. Great movie. We're not going to decipher what San Diego is? Great movie. Well, I don't think it was right. Really? Yeah. I mean, I thought the people from San Diego right. say that's what it means. What is it? It's a whale's <laughs> vagina? Is that what it, is that what it was? Uh, I think it's I think it's Saint Diego. I think it's Saint Diego. All right, sweet. Well, Diego. thanks for bringing up all that stuff, JJ. Hope you made your grandma proud. Good let's Lord. move to yeah, making it's, it's a great start. Hey, great let's start talk about making because. grandma proud. Grandma in Wisconsin? She is. Okay, so obviously the stat has come out in the first 100 games, you and your brother, number two and number three, in the history of how many sacks you record in the first 100 games. Now, TJ Pastion is 96, so he has time to continue to catch up, and you put out a tweet that was really remarkable. You said, no, it's two Wisconsin boys. 
we grew up watching and idolizing Reggie White. So to be on the same status as him, obviously it's a massive honor. You have been on these particular statistic boards alongside legends because you yourself are a legend, sir. TJ, obviously a legend in the making currently actively. Whenever you see this type of stuff happen, what do you think back about? What do you reflect upon? And what do you think TJ will get to at 100 here in the next couple games? Yeah, you know, I think when I put out a tweet like that or I talk about stats like this, uh, I think people think, yeah, it's obviously you're going to say, you know, it's really cool to see your guys' names up there. You're going to say all the right stuff. But, like, literally growing up in the state of Wisconsin and watching the Green Bay Packers as a kid and you see Brett Favre, you see Reggie White, you see, like, these guys playing, It's you treat them like, a, like that is unattainable. That is something that you didn't even, like, th those are on a different pedestal. So... To, to grow up watching Reggie and to know how we idolized him and how we looked at him and the way that he played the game, like that didn't even seem like it was – when we were playing backyard football, we were pretending to be the high school quarterback at Pewaukee High School. We weren't pretending to be these NFL guys because that was something different. So now to see our names next to a guy like Reggie White and to not only see one of our names there but to see us together as brothers there um, – it is, it is truly really, really special, and it, I don't think that we fully even understand it right now, how cool that is and how awesome this whole thing has been. Hey, Reggie at 105 or whatever, Gee. you know, it's like, oh. we, we actually, the reason why we have those clips is because I was like, I don't, I know Reggie White gets a lot of respect, and obviously anytime his name is mentioned, everybody says it's awesome, but like, that is a dominant first hundred game. Oh, yeah. That is a phenomenal right. first hundred games. Cool. And you guys Reggie for me is the true GOAT. Like I, I love all the guys that people put in the GOAT conversation. I think Lawrence Taylor's unbelievable. I think he's incredible, some of the things he accomplished. But when you truly look at Reggie White's numbers and you go back and you watch some of that film and you see the stats he was putting up, Reggie White did some unbelievable things. And for me, he'll always be the greatest of all time. Hell yeah. Go ahead, AJ. JJ, quick pivot back to, I know we watched that Bill Belichick video. Now, we don't have to show that again. We understand the guy benches 405 for at least 12 to 15 mm -hmm. sets of five, I, from what I assume, and obviously can probably do 600 pull-ups, not hey, even the kip chest. Real oh, slow yeah. pull-ups, too. It's not even moving, you know, because his yeah. chest is so big. He's only got to do yeah, that one. Might work. Anyways, go ahead. With that being said, JJ, we're hearing that Bill Belichick might not be the coach of the New England Patriots next year. Do you think that? Is a possibility, and if so, where do you think would be a good spot for him to go coach next? Man, it's fascinating. It really is fascinating because how do you transition on from a guy that, you know, you won six rings together. He's had such an unbelievable stretch. Um, obviously, they're going through an extremely tough time right now, but they've created such a level of excellence where you can't, they, they won't stand for that any longer. So is there a parting of ways? I mean, it sure, certainly looks like it if you just look, look from the outside looking in. Um, but where does he go next? I mean, I don't know. It's going to look weird no matter where he goes if he does because it's, it's just going to look weird. But then you also ask the question, is he going to be able to have the GM hat and the head coach, coach hat wherever he goes? I would guess yes. I mean, any, anybody who's going to want Bill Belichick, you're, they're going to have to give and say, you get to do whatever you want. You're, you're Bill Belichick. You have six rings. So it is going to be very interesting. I mean, I know San Diego has been tossed. I mean, uh, geez, San Diego on the brain. L.A. has been tossed around a lot. Yeah, he's trying to build a um, brand over there. Wake yeah. up. Jeez. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know. I, don't, I, I really don't know because he also has a very specific style of coaching. I mean, we all know that, you know, the Patriot way, the very tough, you know, the discipline, the extreme way that he coaches and goes about things. So. I really don't know, but I'm fascinated to watch. As a fan, it is certainly great for us to talk about for a while. Certainly. In Lombo, who has obviously been close to the situation up there numerous times, him just acting like, yeah, he's probably he, – he will definitely go coach somewhere else yep. and didn't say like, nah, Kraft ain't never going to get rid of Bill Belichick. And then allegedly Bill Belichick was the one that might have leaked his two-year contract extension that he signed to remind the Krafts of how much money he is owed. Like these are all things that are being speculated. It's like, oh, this is getting real loud seemingly. This mm -hmm. is not – Can we, we get Orlovsky? Like, I mean, I saw Orlovsky oh, yesterday, yeah. like – if he knows, just tell us, dude. Like, I'm all reporter. Like, I'm all reporter. Yeah. And then he probably said, I, can't say I that. said it yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, the way he says yeah, yesterday. Exactly. Um, the way he says it is like every a, time. I'm like, who is that? What is What's yes? He says it like an asshat. What a tease. Yeah, but who what is that? He, he, it's, it, he's trying to sound like he is from a uh, inner city Boston, Boston accent town, and he's not. 
Oh, that's a Boston act? <laughs> Yesterday? Yesterday's no ours. Yeah, that, that's Boston. He's not. He's not. Not even close. Probably, well, he said he also showed, dropping your eyes in Connecticut. He also said, Bingo. I'm, not a, I'm not a reporter. That's why I'm not going to say. But he did hear it from somebody who might know. Right. I okay. think is how he laid it out. That one went. That one went. Yeah. That oh, one yeah. went real there, big. There's no it rule did. against it either. It did go. Yeah, it did. I was watching the whole show yesterday. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed the show yesterday. I thought you guys did a phenomenal job. Don't watch our show, JJ. Yeah. Okay? What Don't do that. It's not genuine? good. What's that? Did that feel genuine? No, he didn't watch the show. He's I did it while working out. I watched the whole show while working out. The whole Aaron interview and everything. It was it was really enjoyable. I enjoyed mm. the whole thing. Aaron broke down some plays really well. I thought the I thought the breakdowns of a lot of the plays and actual like football stuff was a lot of fun. And then I, I mean I like seeing you guys go back and forth. Obviously Aaron and AJ have got quite the animosity. friendship relationship. Hey, there was part. a little animosity yesterday, yeah. wasn't there? Did you feel it? I mean, there was a lot of bedroom talk. That, that threw me for a loop. I wasn't prepared for the bedroom talk. The possibility of that being a, a, a lie, what you're lying about, the cornea injury, fascinated oh. me. I, I jumped on board the conspiracy train. Oh, okay, oh so he thinks it's – oh, I think a lot more people, by the way, AJ, are starting to think that it was one you guys are getting after. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, so great. Cool. Whatever you think, I don't know oh, exactly oh, what that means. Oh. AJ loves what would this. I have taken? What would have gone into my eyeball and chipped out my cornea? You tell us, pal. We don't know what you got in there. You're, You're in Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Saza. Hey, once Double again, letter. I don't judge anybody. Yeah. Saza. Could have been this a Saza. Is a from my son. Yeah, plugged it in and didn't know it was already. You on. should run. You should run with this. <laughs> this is like something that's almost like uh, something to be proud of. Like, yeah, yeah. We, well, hey, yeah, we're trying to make an eleventh kid. What do you say? Yeah, let's make it a positive. Then, Jay, you mentioned Aaron how he breaks down film and everything. What about everything? else that he said and that he does and talks about are you a fan if you agree with everything that he says say grandma this one talking about I, there's, What's there's a lot of stuff to, there's a lot of stuff that he does that i don't even i can't even wrap my head around it i don't even understand there's words and and phrases and uh, uh plants i think i don't know there's things that i don't even know what they are so no i don't i can't have an you and your I, brother you and your brother talking about ayahuasca would be uh <laughs> yeah that would be a hilarious conversation you two trying oh, to figure and out if he comes if he comes back and plays in three months after terrence and kids we're gonna be talking a whole lot about ayahuasca. <laughs> <laughs> uh d but has a question i'm gonna be trying to play for another four more seasons i'm gonna start calling aaron real quick oh, oh wait, wait a minute oh, oh, wait a minute ooh. pittsburgh steelers got you jack tom you heard huh? oh my Mama, I'm in fear for my life from the law of the law. You felt it. You felt it. You were like, you know what? Yeah, I am still getting under squat rack for some damn reason. Mm -hmm. I'm just a dad at this point. Come home, I'm JJ. still getting after it. Is that home. you started feeling it a little bit? Huh? We got a playoff push coming uh, right now. Ooh. Oh my god, week eleven? I, this funny. is the time. It's perfect. This is the time, JJ. Even even TJ yesterday, we were because I was we were texting about the workout, and even he was like Hey, you're you're lifting you're lifting a lot of weight right now. Like, what's what's all this for? Like, I was I'm like, I but the, the thing that I keep going back to because I mean I'm not an idiot. Like, there there's thoughts that always will creep into your head. Just but it's, I always shoot them right down. But like, I have not run, so I'm not like it's I'm, I have not run. I've not run. I've not trained. I, certainly, the lifting is absolutely there. Well, and you it's, smoke every day, it. right? You smoke every yeah. single day. Cigs. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, totally. Reds. Yeah. yeah, yeah you guys know me. Yeah. You know, just ripping heaters left and right. Yep. Ripping Love heaters. Wisconsin. Reds. Oh, That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. It's cold up there. So I don't know where this came from, too. Like Steelers fans have been doing it for years, obviously, but like so. recently in my mentions, Lions fans have came out of nowhere. Oh, I have no hell idea. Hell yeah. Oh, Lions come on, JJ. Franchise. Hey, go to Detroit, pal. You would be a hero forever if you bring that. City of Super Bowl. Let's go. You and Hutch get to the quarterback. And JJ, oh, wow. come on. Well, you do the other eye. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, you, do, you, you do that other eye. They don't have chocolate pretzels. There, <laughs> this JJ. is a stupid idea. <laughs> yeah, you're right. TJ Think can about do it, it, I guess, too. Yeah. You, maybe you guys take Hutch's thing. Yeah. Because that feels like a little bit too much destiny. You guys had your eyes like this. That would be. Let's go, dude. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you're you're still. No, nine, no, 99 is not available either. So it's okay. This, I mean, it's a no, no non-starter. Yeah, but you could wear number one or something. Yeah. You can go or maybe, maybe two because yeah. it's your second phase it yeah. of your career. Where is it not available at? Detroit, I think. Anywhere. This is, yeah, it's yeah. not available. It's not available. 
Retired, Detroit. Oh, dude, this is awesome. You want to play football again. Wow. How could you not? Whenever you see those terrible towels. Oh yeah. When you see them, yeah. Yenzers just on, losing their yeah. mind mm-hmm. doing this entire thing. Watching Burnley on Saturdays. I'm done These guys that. suck. Yeah. I, can, I need to get some frustration. I, yeah, you're right. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I need to be Lord. on the field. I'm I can't wait till we flip this thing around and I can Hell come yeah. on here after some wins. That's going to be great. Hell yeah. yeah. That's, we'll that's, be doing this 2030. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That'll happen. That'll be good. That'll be great. It's, gonna, it's a process. It's transition we got to do it oh my god i think i just heard jj wants to play football again yeah, yep. either the lions or the steelers oh my god Pick your poison. oh yeah yeah you think i would go to i mean if you think about it use, use, use our brains for a second here if, if you're going to go somewhere obviously you, you speak about pittsburgh because my brother's there but is there another team that's playing incredibly well right now who's got a quarterback that's crushing it that's i got one for got you. a lot of connections like i mean Use our brains. Yeah, I got uh, one for. I don't think I'm. I'm struggling you actually. No, Cardinals? I got one for him. No, no I can't think. I got Miami. one right, yeah. right yeah. there. D-Buck, I think D Buck could probably. Yeah, use yeah right down one. there to be a guy right next to you too. Who I was about to ask you about with uh Sheldon Rankins. Ninety eight just had a. There you go. <laughs> had a JJ Watt ish game. Three Whoa. sacks on the stadium. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's on the stadium. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and he's doing this shit again. Turn uh, down for what? Punching himself in the face so he can bleed. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh, Scoring touchdown! Oh, that would yeah. be so sick. Oh, he, goes up on the, he goes up on the bench too. He does yeah. this thing. He's always yeah. come on, come on! Yeah. Oh my God! It's back! Yes. Guess who's back? Yep. Back again. <laughs> what is back? Oh, uh, I love this. in Houston. It's the energy, the excitement. If you're sitting at home right now and you're not. <laughs> laughing yeah. and having a great time and your mood is raised uh, right now, you're not. crazy. Because this <laughs> show gives it to you no. every week. No, JJ, there's people right now going, get this off of my He's back. Why is he standing on his chair? He's just going, Why does he still have a tank top on? It's damn near winter. Yeah, that's yeah. what people are saying, but it feels real, doesn't it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's on a ticker. It wasn't even thinking about this coming into it either. Houston, holy hell. That's just coming out. It's like, yeah, Come why on. not? It's so not, not happening. Nothing's not, happening. Hey, Detroit, JJ. Yeah, JJ. Yeah, JJ. Come on Nothing's home. Happened. You can't lie to us now. Are you the happened. first guy to ever play in a stadium that you're already in the ring of honor for? He would uh, be. You would have to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Threaten itself. Wow. Yeah, you're break the record, JJ. Be the movie. first guy ever. And after you get a sack, I think you just... Point Boom, up to yeah. yourself. Yeah. Yep. Point up to yourself up there. Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. salute yourself up uh, on the wall. You can do the salute. <laughs> That's for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to me. All right. Let's say let's get back. Oh, uh, what's Man. next? What should we th- I heard there's another players only meeting going on. Did you guys hear that? Ooh. Oh, Garrett Wilson was saying on a show uh with uh Simini uh, uh Han- Samini. Samini. Okay. He was saying Samini basically that yeah, we just had to kind of uh, you know, an open forum. You know, sometimes when players say some things, you know, might listen a little bit more. And we don't want to be down the road and wish back that we would have done this before. And there's then other reports saying it's, it's why the players only. It was me. It was uh, players. Le- I, players get together. Players led meeting. Like not a players only meeting. I guess, you know, there's a chance that, you know, there's contradicting names for what happened. But nonetheless, they spoke it out. They're turning the season around. And when Aaron comes back, fresh off that Achilles and ayahuasca, in a shorter time period than anybody in history, they're going to go and run because they spoke about it. JJ, you don't think that worked? You don't think the Jets really accomplished anything in this players-only meeting? You think players-only meetings are a joke? You think this is all uh, fugues? Because the way I heard Garrett Wilson say it, this is going to change them. Yeah. Yeah. Big time. Maybe, it, maybe no players I'm trying to find is- out. Go ahead. It sounded a little bit like it could have been offense only. I did read a little bit of things that it might have been offense only, which we know can be okay. Wow. Well, uh, we full, full team is, is, is an issue. Full team is an issue. We know that. So if it is full team, uh, concerning. I would put it as concerning. But we, it also makes us follow. So very excited to see the Jets this week. I don't know who they play, but very much looking forward to it. Players only meetings. I don't know if we've done the research. Really successful in the past, all the time. Yeah, really, really, really. Right? Don't they kind of one eighty a whole team, JJ? Isn't that kind of what we've realized? Well, what was it last week? The Bills had one mm-hmm. uh, offense only, but then their offensive coordinator got fired. So, and they lost. Uh, 
Jets play the Bills this week, too. Two. Oh, oh, the yeah. batters Ooh. only bowl. Ooh, players <laughs> only, players only. Let's go. This is good. This is good. Somebody's huge. Gonna what We're going to learn. What if they tie? That would be oh, awesome. That would be Players awesome. only, players only. No, no winners. Too no much, winners. too much positive juju going on with all yeah. the players telling yeah. all the tales of each other, and you know who works harder than everybody else, and who's more locked in than everybody else, and mm-hmm. who needs to pick it up. I, I thought what Aaron said yesterday was was brilliant. Also on the uh, Bills, if they if they actually just miss that kick, if the Broncos just miss that kick at the end and they win that game, Ken Dorsey's not fired. Like there, are, there are multiple levels of butterfly effect here that all unfolded because of a wild 30 seconds at the end of a game. And I thought he was spot on with saying, like, that can affect so many things down the line. And you, it's pretty wild. But that little sequence right there ended a guy's, I mean, his tenure there. And who knows what else happened long term. It's bananas because that one play says a lot, though. Like, week 10 having 12 players on the field for a game-winning field goal, too, that, that says a lot. You know, like that, that, that. And it was the, the weirdest part about that is that the play before they were kneeling it down and you knew they were kneeling <laughs> it down. So, like, you had tons of time to figure out what was going on. So like, bad. it's not like there was like, oh my God, we got to figure it out. It was like, okay, three plays in a row, they took a knee. Then they're going to kick the field goal. <laughs> we, we got time to figure out what's going on out here and they still had 12. I, it, Full play clock, too, for that last one, like 24 seconds. Like, yeah. so there's a lot. I mean, you could have subbed your entire field goal block team yeah. yep. on in that exact yeah. time. I mean, there was a lot of failures, but that's why the conversation is had. Like, what the hell is going on in oh, Buffalo? They, they did sub. They did sub. Yeah, they sub. Definitely the OC's yeah. fault, though. Oh. Definitely the OC's fault. Pat, do you hate the Broncos doing a NASCAR kick to end the game they, when they didn't have to? Uh, do they have any timeouts? No, well, they didn't have they to would kneel have it. To, yeah, they would have had to kick it with like what, 18 Yeah, I, I think like maybe that. there was a little bit of uh, Wish li- they should have. A little bit of overreaction. <laughs> okay. You know, like, hey, we just wanted to make sure we have our P's and Q's here. At the end of half, they did it. Executed yeah, they did. It properly, yeah. Perfect. Needed it to happen. This one, a lot of time. I, I think if, if we were trying to do this to Vinatieri, I think Vinatieri would have been like... Everybody needs yeah. to relax. <laughs> yeah. We got we got nothing but time. We, you put the because you wave a towel basically mm-hmm. to let everybody know, like, hey, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yeah. I think if I started doing that for that particular one video, we put the damn. <laughs> yeah. Okay, everybody relax. <laughs> Let's make sure we're perfect. They could have just slowed it down. They could have just yeah. slowed it down a little. I mean, just eight regular, seconds left. The one regular. Yeah. Game. The one thing I will say is Sean Payton. You know, when we were in when I was in Houston, we would practice against the Saints every year in preseason, and he practices situations more than anybody I've ever seen. So that is one thing that he and Drew Brees really, really had down and locked in. So when I saw it at the end of the first half, I knew, like, yes, they have practiced this a 100 times. Sean Payton is extremely diligent about making sure every single guy on that field knows what needs to happen at the end of halves, what needs to happen at the end of games, situations, clocks, all that. So that's one thing uh, that they definitely work on. So I think they probably at the end there could have just just slowed down just a second, but it all worked out. Yeah, you got a major in the minors. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. And minors are like uh, NASCAR May Day field goal that'll happen once a year, once two years maybe. They had it in two games. I don't think the second one was needed, but they end up getting a win. You said whenever you played in Houston, and this kind of launched the whole, holy hell, JJ's going back to Houston. d Bud has a question for you. Yeah, we're not worried about the cardio either. We're still trying to figure out where that billionaire is. Uh, pickleball quarters that you've been playing at, mm-hmm. but oh uh, yeah, you're that right. Weird, point. yeah, I know that cardio is on point. But uh, sh- I mentioned him earlier. Uh, Sheldon Rankins, big big time game this past week. Uh, not yeah. a household name, but multiple sacks and also had that that uh, pressure on that pick. One of the picks that Burrow threw. Um, tell the people something about Sheldon that we don't know. Yeah, Sheldon in this defense. I mean, C.J. Stroud in the offense, rightfully so, getting tons and tons of credit, getting tons of uh, shine for what they're doing. But the defense is doing well, too. D'Amico obviously knows what he's doing. Matt Burke, the defensive coordinator. Sheldon Rankin's just bowling over people. I mean, just running right (laughs) over the top of somebody, feeling himself, a little shoulder shrug. (laughs) Nice sack. Great sack. He had a three-piece in this game. Mm. I mean, I love when guys have big games and they're not necessarily household names. Sheldon Rankin misses the sack the first time, pops up off the ground, gets back, and still gets the sack. Watch this. Run him, push him, push him back, shed him, miss the sack. You know what? Let me get back up. I'm going to chase this guy. Great effort. Go oh, get the yeah, sack, finish go. it. Love it. Oh, yeah. And then here we go. Let's go. Number three. Just a scrum. Just a pure scrum. Grip strength, grip strength, grip strength, grip Around strength. That guy. is hard yeah. to do. 
around the human. Get over here. Yeah. Get over here. That hurts your fingers. I mean, you'll, and any of the old guys know that that AJ, AQ, me, AJ, we know those fingers are, are going to be mangled after you're holding on to a jersey like that. Not, not a good feeling. So whenever you look at that D-line, you get pretty excited and jacked up about it. You already said you want to play for the Texans this year. What are you thinking, like, uh, I don't want to do any public negotiation for you. You just love the fact that Houston's in the middle of a run. That is a beautiful thing for not only the franchise, but the entire city and their fans. Is that what I'm kind of hearing? I mean, I think it's an unbelievably exciting time. They have got a franchise quarterback now who not only plays the game at an unbelievably high level, has legitimately put himself in the MVP conversation, and he also does everything the right way off the field, the way that he goes about his business, the way that he handles his teammates, the way that he is in the community. So when you have that combination and you have the head coach, who's an extremely smart, diligent, young head coach who's, who's leading the team in the city the right way, I mean, you put these pieces together, it is an unbelievably exciting time. And CJ asked for the fans to show up this week in a big way at NRG Stadium. Like, I think that we're about to start to see the energy in Houston reach the old school levels, like the the exciting levels, the the, the, the it's going to be a fun time down there, man. Yeah. Oh, it is going to be a fun time. Oh, okay, hey, fascinating. Hey. I don't know if that means you're going to be there or. I, I'm I'm going to Houston for Thanksgiving week, like the, to be with Needles. family. Just so you know, like so. If you see me, you, like oh, I, I don't want this to blow oh. up. Like we're going. Physical. We're going to eat Thanksgiving dinner. I'll be there all yeah, week. Yeah, physical. Yeah. Before Thanksgiving, obviously. Oh, mm-hmm. Utilize the Thanksgiving meal as a celebration yeah. for yep. passing the physical. Right. We're back. Being in good enough shape to be back in the Houston Texans franchise. Not just on the damn stadium. On the field. That's right. Well, like a third down package? What are we seeing? How many, You know what I mean? That pickleball? What are we thinking? He's in shape. He's sure. in- yeah, where's that court? Where's that court? I play tight where's end. Where's that court? I, I, what happened with this? I don't even know. Like, I, I caught, like, the tail. You guys FaceTime me at random times throughout the day, so I'll be just in my kitchen. I'll, catch, I'll, be, on, really? I'll be on live television. So, uh, what happened? Appreciate I don't that. even know what's going on with the pickleball stuff. Hey, thanks for answering, by the way. You and Tony Mule are always yes. the best. A1. It is good. You know, mm-hmm. something our show does that I think it was potentially viewed as illegal. Yeah. For, uh, for other shows. That was an honor. We had Ryan Smith on the show, the owner of the Utah Jazz, friend of the program. Uh, BYU Cougar, their football team sucks. So yeah. bad. Yeah. He, he needs to figure out NIL up there quick. And other things, too, in Utah. What's that, soaking? No, no, no. Some of their local laws, they could change, mix it uh, up a little. Yeah, it would If be. I want a double, just give me a double. What are you talking about? You're not yeah. allowed to get doubles. Can't in, order in it. Utah. Yeah, they're booth, looking out for you. Yeah. Yeah. No, we, I'm we trying were at to the look airport, and that was tough. Well, double what? You booze bags. All right, just drink, yeah. just drink, drink one we shot. Did, we just had a great show in Utah. We went to the airport. And we wanted to celebrate with a double. That's it. Yeah. And he said, no. They you, wouldn't you, give you No. He said, you can, order, you can order two drinks at the same time, but I can't pour you a double. No, no, no. Yeah, hey, he said, let me like, tell you a place. Let me tell you a place you need to go, my friend. Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Double, triple, quadruple, whatever. Wide, 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 wide. Wide. Yeah, a little triple. different place. A little different place. But Ryan Smith, owner of the Jazz, friend of the program now at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, he said, "You guys play pickleball against each other." And then AJ and I, yeah. all of us asked, "Where's the pickleball?" Yeah. And then you wouldn't answer either. It kind of sounds weird. You guys got a little Illuminati yeah. pickleball that you guys play in the league. <laughs> On a pickleball court. What? what where else? Where? Would you where? Yeah, where? Where? You both. You both separately said like we're r- real like sketchy about it. Acting like it was some underground lair where you might be doing weird things. Bingo. Some, submarine. Oh, don't 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 put us in AQ's category here with the <laughs> underground <laughs> billionaires club. All right, we That's don't do that doing. weird stuff. Sweating on each other. We're not like rubbing up against each other. Dongs out. Dong, yeah. 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 I heard they had a yeah. special guest the other day. Henry Cejudo was in town. Whoa. Henry yeah. Yeah. And apparently he's the man. Stop by the basement. Everybody loves. Him. I guess he goes hard down yeah. there. Uh-huh. But anyways, yeah, what underground basement weird shit are you guys doing in this pickleball thing? I mean, it's pickleball courts. We don't want people showing up, Adam. What do you mean? Like, we, I'm not going to tell you the You're address. You talk, the address? I put yeah. it on the air? It doesn't matter. No, you don't have to. I'm sorry. But you guys meet up because he's he lives in a different state than you do. You guys fly your... Yeah. You guys fly to a pickleball court to play uh, against each other? Is that you, what happens? You and Phelps. Is it in the sky? And Phelps and John Rawl. Uh, yeah. yeah, it is in the sky. It is in the sky. Those, those billionaires are in a different How come AQ wasn't invited to dinner? Yeah, what a cool... Yeah. This is the Arizona yeah. finest. Where's yeah. yeah. AQ Shipley at? Real Housewives? I, I don't get the invite. So you guys go to Chef Buzz? Like. That's got to be silver. You know Rob, don't you, AQ? AQ, our wives were together. Uh, they were. Day. Our wives, yeah. And he was working his way in. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Thank you. Hell, hell of a pickleball player, too. <laughs> hey, that's a hell of a crew. That is a hell of yeah. a crew. JJ, that's an incredible squad out there. Arizona really is a fantastic spot, huh? 
Oh, AQ will tell you, Arizona is a phenomenal place. There's so many athletes down here, both current and former, and um, it's really cool to have a friend group like this. Obviously, it was Zach and John's birthday. They have the exact same birthday. So we, uh, we all went out, got ourselves a little dinner, had a little fun. It was a really, really good night. Happy birthday to them. Yeah. Awesome. Happy birthday, guys. You guys, you guys, you guys will like this. I, I, Phelpsy, uh, Phelps has Phelpsy. never Phelpsy taken a Phelps. supplement in his life. No creatine, no aminos, no protein, nothing. That guy dominated the world with whatever, 400 gold medals, zero whey protein, zero creatine, nothing. I don't believe it. You serious? How'd you find this out? How'd we find That's what this? I said. I, I, I said, I asked him three times. I was like, dude, I don't believe you. I literally do not believe you. He's like, nothing? no, I don't. I, he's all doped up. Yeah, he, zero. he does the weed. Yeah, he smoked so much weed, mm-hmm. which I appreciate. Yeah, that's the how good stuff. That was his PED. Let me go ahead and get yeah. some t- vitamins yeah. THC in me. Mm-hmm. And then also, he's like, when you shake his hand, is it like an avatar? Like his arms, right, are built. Oh, yeah. Lanky. <laughs> like, and then does he have like uh, the webbed hands too? Yeah. Don't they say like yeah, yep. webbed hands? And like, feet. He's like built to be a fish, right? Yeah, yeah, and he'll do that back slap thing where yep. I mean it is it is unbelievable. Oh, yeah, it's, it, he's he's incredible. He's he's impressive. Uh, he, he told me uh, this is this was a cool thing. I'm I'm this is like a celebrity name drop thing. But he was like, "Bring your son." My son's one. He's like, "Bring your son over. We'll teach him how to swim." I was like, "Yep, I will bring my son over, and you will teach him how to swim." That'll be <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Uh, who's Coe's uh, swim coach? Michael Phelps. Might have heard of him. Heard of him? Yeah. That uh, right? Michael Phelps. Who's his Who's his golf coach? John Rahm. <laughs> yes, thank you. This is yes. great. This is great. This Who coaches him in soccer? Uh, Kaylee Awa and Julie Ertz. Oh, great. This is great. I hope this kid turns out to be freaking awesome. <laughs> And AQ, who coaches your son into him? It sounds like I'm trying to get the same coach. <laughs> come on, how do come I get in here? Yeah, really. Well, you got to get out of that basement. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're rolling around in that basement. You know what I mean? You got some. Well, JJ said, you know, AQ will tell us how friendly it is. AQ's told us he's had trouble making friends. So, I mean, yeah. it makes sense he had to go to the basement because really? he doesn't get invited out by these guys. That's exactly right. I, I think if I want to be a fighter, literally go there. literally blocks apart. We live like blocks apart. Not to rub it in his face, yeah, JJ. Geez, <laughs> he don't like that much. Man. We get it. I don't know why I don't get any calls. <laughs> well, you're busy. <laughs> you change numbers. <laughs> when yeah. when do you get back, AQ? Tomorrow. Tonight. Look at this. Hey, you want to get dinner tonight. tonight? Hang out tonight. Call you Saturday. Oh, <laughs> hey, no, I'm gonna go for like a. Let's go for a walk tomorrow morning. With, I got. I take the little man for a walk. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God, it's a huge deal. New crew. Don't go to that basement with them. Just no, go to the Houston no. Texans. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I will not be going to the basement. I can tell you that I, that is something that I, yeah. I don't understand. You let AQ creep in said. there. Yeah, yeah, AQ sells this basement pretty hard. Yes, he does. They got Henry Cejudo going there. Ty has a question for you, JJ. <laughs> yeah, JJ, you mentioned possibly going back to the Lions earlier. Uh, when you watch them, how demoralizing would it be to be on a defense again? I mean, they're going for it on fourth down all the time. Guys are just running wide open. What do teams in the NFL need to do to try to slow down the Lions right now? Because they are a juggernaut. Yeah, I mean, I think first and foremost, they have incredible line play, which is great. I think their offense and defensive lines do a great job. I mean, they've obviously built that team from the inside out, which, I mean, I think is a massive key to success in this league. But one of the things that I think is fascinating about the Lions, if you just took a a casual fan, not somebody that necessarily watches the film or breaks down the stats, but a casual fan, you said, what do you think about when you think about the Detroit Lions? You would say tough, gritty, you know, grind it out. These these wins were... They kind of do that DMC, you know, all that stuff. All right. But if you actually look at it, they have one of the top Damn two or three offenses in the NFL. They are putting up numbers at an incredible rate, and that offense is operating so efficiently. They're putting up, you know, number two in yards per game, 406 yards per game. They're not just grinding it out. They are putting up points. And then you combine that with Dan Campbell's mentality, with that Detroit tough, gritty mentality, with going for it on fourth down. All of that together in one package is why the Lions are just dominating right now, and it's it's a lot of fun to watch. And I think people in Detroit have to be just living the dream right now because this they've been an incredible fan base for a very long time, and they've been through some very very tough years. So they deserve to have some fun, and this has got to be a whole lot of fun for them. Hell yeah, Foxy! Let's go, go. The Lions! They're averaging four hundred and six yards a game, averaging. Mm-hmm. Okay, so sometimes lower. Sometimes much higher, yep. mm-hmm. a, an average of that. Mm-hmm. How many games has it That's been insane. since the Pittsburgh Steelers have uh, put up 400 yards of since, offense? Since Matthew 57. became, thank you, 
had a, is that the number? Fifty-seven games. Fifty-seven. Yeah, I do it every week. Like on CBS, we go every week. We, we talk about the AFC North, obviously, but <laughs> they give me the stat, and every single week, I know it. It's fifty-seven now. They're averaging what you guys haven't been able to get in fifty. Same league. Steelers same. ran for two hundred this week, though. Got to say that that's a big improvement. That's, that's even worse improvement. though. Here, were, were they that. playing Penn State's defense? Who, well, right. Paul, but they're Kenny, six and three Paul guys. Packers, like Packers. that's like we do have to get to a point where we're like, okay. They're not putting up the numbers. They're not doing this, not doing that. But they're winning football games. Like, you want to talk about, like, because I, I brought this up on CBS on Sunday. Like, Kenny Pickett now hasn't turned the ball over one time in five games. He hasn't thrown an interception. He hasn't fumbled one time in five games. So, like, they're getting them to the fourth quarter, and then they're finding a way to win the game in the fourth quarter. It's not pretty. You're not putting up these huge, massive numbers. They're not throwing the ball over the middle at all, literally. Ever. I mean, they are literally not putting the ball – over the middle in the field, which is wild, but they're why keeping not? everything safe. They're keeping everything. Why not? Yeah, why are they throwing in the middle? I think it's. I mean, I, I don't know the actual answer to that. I think it's one of two things. It's That's either <laughs> wow. the offense. It's the awesome. offense is not core. The awesome. offense is not coordinating is throws the over the middle. They're not right? creating. <laughs> Dude, how crazy is that? Like, look at that. There is not a single throw between the hashes. Not one single throw between the hashes. Everything is. Short of 10 yards and outside the numbers, basically. So that tells me one of two things. Either we're not scheming up the right plays to get these types of passes and to, to have these crossing routes or to get these middle throws, or you don't trust to be able to do that. It's one of those two things. We don't know which, obviously. Tiny, but, speak up for yourself, please. But, but they're winning games, so you can't say too much. They're 6-3. and three. Like, yeah, how mad can you be? I, I'm starting to worry it's not Matthew America's fault. Because there's some screenshots coming out of you know wide wide open wide receivers running down the middle of the field and oh we're hitting our checkdowns though um, you know, we're moving, the, we're moving the ball down the field you know that's something too uh, but I, six to three though I mean there's a chance yep. there is a high high chance yep that they are number one in the AFC after this week hell yeah let's go if wow it, things if Houston that- Houston beats the Jags the Eagles beat the Chiefs and we beat the Browns. We are number one in the AFC. And listen to the fans. They've never been more grateful for that. That's right. right? Mm -hmm. Ain't that right? Very, very right. And, uh, yeah, that'll be awesome. But, JJ, I did want to ask you. I think I saw TJ played basically every snap on defense on on Sunday. Um, And you were talking about how you haven't done any running or anything like that. Is TJ doing extra running? Because he was rushing a lot on Sunday. That's Max Crosby stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's one of those things where you kind of, as a pass rusher, you generally have an idea going into the game when you're going to take your breaks or when it's going to be. And I know for a lot of pass rushers, for myself and for TJ for a long time, it's been generally the third series of each half. That's kind of, that was my always my thing. Third series of each half, you're going to sit out the start of it, and then you'll go in on the third down, um, and, and you'll kind of get back into it that way. And then throughout the rest, if a mm. drive goes longer than, let's say, five or six plays generally for me it was about six plays like after six plays you're pretty much you're not going to be able to give everything you can possibly give so you might want to get out at that point offensive but, lineman get up uh, six plays in we don't believe in rotating wow we just mm. we just go well, i mean yeah you guys you don't run anywhere right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Trump. Yeah, you do fine. run i mean you if, you, if you watch the league you guys are walking together tomorrow yeah yeah, yeah you guys stay in like a three you guys stay in like a three foot by Playing three a foot area booth. the whole time yeah no, this is uh, this is a debate that I, I love getting into with offensive linemen. I said something stupid one time in college, and my strength coach called me out on it. I was like, yeah, you give me three months to train, I could be a great offensive lineman. And my strength coach whipped his head around. He goes, what the hell did you just say? And I was like, I, like, I, I was just a young – I wasn't even a starter at that point. I just said – I was just speaking reckless. Like, <laughs> offensive line is a very tough – I'll give you guys credit. Well, would you, you be a tackle, though? You'd be a job. tackle. I think you could probably do it, don't you? I, I mean – I'm trying to be nice about it, but yes, I still I do think I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> With all due respect, strength training. Yeah. Three months still. Yeah. Maybe that's why maybe I, I start mean, starting over there. Kick set, kick, kick set, punch. Kick set, kick set, punch. Yeah, give him the tip. You got, you got a game, great you got you know, a great pass. pass off the game. You gotta stay square too, yeah. not give anything away. Mm-hmm. And make sure when you're kicking you stay square. You gotta to get to your spot, JJ. I know I don't know if you know that. Like if I was playing you, I know you got a different skill set. So I'm trying to get to my spot, let you come to me. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? JJ, that's yeah. what I'm trying to do. Major, major keys. Number one, get off the ball before the ball's actually snapped. Number two, just grab any jersey you can find. They're not going to call it anyway. Don't worry. <laughs> Are we done? I can hear the ESPN music playing. I don't. I want to make sure I time it up properly. 
All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> That's been Trenches Wednesday. You're the best. Boom. You stay classy, San Diego. Missed it. Ah, <laughs> missed ah, it. Missed it. Yeah. 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 It's tough. That's a tough exit because we've been waiting ah, for it all hour. Yeah, yeah, it was perfect. Yeah, I could have could have done it. You missed it by two seconds, I think. That's the first time I heard the music. That's the first time I actually got the cue that we're going to. Yeah, I tried. I tried. I think he had a pretty good performance. So what's going on? No F bombs. So. Yeah, no F bombs. Huge deal. Why were, you, why were you trying to get him to say whale's vagina? Would his grandma be upset with that? Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, I mean, she's probably not watching you, anymore. Do you say that to your grandma at Thanksgiving? Every year. Uh, if I was describing that movie, yeah, I don't know if she would get the joke, but she might. <laughs> we don't know your grandma. What are you hosting Thanksgiving, AJ? Yeah, we're having a bunch of people here. All yeah. of Ohio, right? Yeah, he's the president of Ohio. Yep. JJ, JJ where are you um, going to? Houston? Is that what your family Houston. lives what in? What family's in Houston? Uh, Kush. Uh, Brian, uh, Brian and Megan and their kids. So everybody, um, oh, all good down there. He's Her the family best. will fly in. Kush, Kush yeah, don't work for the man. Texans right now? No, no. He, uh, he's got a gym down there and he coaches his kids, works out. uh, baseball and football. Has he gotten yeah, smaller? Man works out. What's he look like? Is he still- not a single iota. <laughs> not a single. Him and AJ could still be middle linebackers in the NFL without a doubt. So your guy Kush, uh, Senior Bowl, I got a chance to meet him. What a legend! Yeah, absolute legend. Uh, I didn't get a chance to, you know, I wish I was teammates with the guy. To be honest with you, I, I couldn't even fathom what it was like. I was out one game against you guys. I got suspended because of a little dust up at 4 a.m. Uh, during <laughs> oh. a, during a bye week. During a bye week, I was uh, suspended for a Monday Night Football game. They brought in a guy to punt, and I forget his name. Good dude. Good dude. Been around the NFL a long time. And Kush killed that man. Oh, no. Yeah, Kush, Kush oh, killed no. that man. He punted a ball, and he was jogging down the field. Kapanos, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, I think it was Jeremy Kapanos. Yeah. And uh, oh, no. Kush, Kush, I believe. You're holding? Yeah. Oh, and this boy. guy turned that song bitch sideways. <laughs> he hit the ground, and I was watching it, and I'm like, God damn. I am happy. Yeah. That At halftime, uh, Cap, they had to get, like, Kapanos was like, I think I'm good for the rest of the game. <laughs> They're like, no, we need you. Get out there. Yeah, we need you. So I, I've always in my head been like, man, I'm fucking thankful that Kush decided to kill the punter in the one game that I missed uh, this entire thing. So he's a psycho, man. That, I'll never forget the game that, that the game that picture is from, where he willingly took off his own helmet to then headbutt a man with a helmet on. I mean, that is unbelievable stuff. Thanks for your service to football, Kush. Love you, Kush. What a legend, dude. That's old school, man. They had him, Clay <laughs> Matthews. I mean, that USC defense that they had back then and was Ray. 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 Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ray has the Ray. heaviest head ever. Like, Ray, oh, man, those, yeah, that's a crew. And Feely Moala yeah. was a D tackle for Feely, that team. Yeah. At, uh, he came to the Colts. So it was Feely, Clay, Ray, Cush. That was the, man. they were all in, at the senior bowl or whatever. It was like, pretty good squad. Taylor, yeah. Taylor, Taylor Mays, Mays, too. Yeah. Yeah. Taylor, Mays. Yeah. Taylor Mays. Taylor Mays, the single, like, if you were going to have a football player sent somewhere and be like, mm-hmm. this is what a football player looks like, Taylor Mays was probably the best silhouette of a football player ever created. Dog. Mm-hmm. That USC team back then. Unbelievable. Yeah, so sweet. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. Now, what are they going to do? Yeah. Hmm. What are you going to do? Oh, here we go. Ah! Yeah. Watch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah. what? Now what? takes Big off his dude. own helmet. Takes off his own helmet. Oh. All right, this guy wants something, huh? Oh, okay. all right, okay. that's it, bitch. Oh. <laughs> what is TJ like probably ate you. Yeah. That guy, whenever he hit, yo, bro, you got no help. Yeah, what, TJ, TJ Ward. Fucking okay, yeah. dude? You're bleeding What's, like crazy. What's wrong with this white dude? Man, this guy, this is this guy's crazy. crazy. This, guy's, this guy's a crazy man. Took his helmet off to headbutt me. Oh. Have you seen this? D'Amico. D'Amico. Head coach of the Houston Texans. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah, he gave me a couple. Yeah, yeah well, I'm going to get penalized. Jeez. Definitely. Dude, that defense was wild, man. We also had Kareem Jackson, who uh, obviously we got, like, I mean, just lays hits on people left and right. We had guys, we had dudes on that defense. We had Mario Williams, we had Antonio Smith, Connor Barwin, Brooks. I mean, that defense was loaded. Connor Jonathan Barth. Joseph, oh. the corner, Glover Quinn. Was Swearinger there yet? We were, uh, not yet, but he was there. He was there a couple years later. Yeah, yes. he'd lay oh. the lumber. Who was the dude? Not, uh, uh, he, who was the dude you guys had on special teams? Long hair. <laughs> Brian Brayman. Dog. A guy with Brian, a dog. dog. Used to hear his dog. name a lot. Fascinating so, human being. Not his actual name, but yeah. They, they used to describe him by the size of his head. The Huge nickname. head. Yeah. Dome. His, his head was the longest head I've ever seen in my life. 
you used to stick out underneath the helmet. Like a horse. And that helmet was coming right from my fucking right leg every time I kicked. Every single time. This guy with his hair. He was somehow jumping the snap. He knew exactly where he was at. He broke my leg one day, but my leg didn't break somehow. Nice. Which is really cool. That guy. Dog. Yeah, the monster. Yeah. Now he cut Super Bowl hair. champ. Won a Super Bowl with the Eagles. Yeah. He's a huge part of the... I couldn't imagine him in a lot. This dude was... Awesome. He does have a long face. I love, I love Brayman, dude. That guy, he, he came uh, one day in the locker room. He came up to me, and he was, like, freaking out. And I was like, Brian, what's going on, man? He's like, dude, I got to go take my physical. And I was like, okay, what about it? And he was like, I think they're going to fail me, man. I got terrible teeth. And I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, I think they're going to fail me, man. I got terrible teeth. And I was like, Brian, I, I can promise you one thing. They're not going to fail you for your teeth. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that. All right, so the guy is just yeah. as big as a legend. As I <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. He's ripped, by the way. He's shredded. Oh, yes. So all this legend. Nostalgia. Guy, guy, guy yeah. fast yeah. as hell, yep. huge, and not, not afraid of anything. We'll just throw his head anywhere. I mean, anywhere. great, great man. This is a good little trip down memory lane, isn't it? Jesus. Oh, what a pick. Absolutely strapped this guy. But yeah, it's kind of a nice trip Jeez. down. Yeah, he's <laughs> he was yeah. Yeah, dude. His body was wrapped around my leg. I like literally wrapped around my leg while I was kicking. Kicked the ball still. He was wrapped around my knee. Like you missed it, bud. You're about you're about a yard off there. You know what I mean? But his body How many punts did you have blocked in your career? I think he blocked two. I think he got two on me. I think. I think that's it. Those are the only ones ever? I think. There it is, yeah. He's way off. I punt oh, that ball. Yeah. I still punt that ball. 30-some years. Shut up. No big deal. What? Yeah, my leg bends around his body. Should have been completely broken. Like, should have been. But he's oh bought, his Lord. ripness actually acted like a cast on yep. my leg <laughs> as it wrapped around it. He did apologize. Like, as soon as you all right, is what he said. Nice. Like, yeah, I think. What the hell? Hey, fuck you, dude. Yeah. What, what was that? He was a dog. Bro. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I got I got, we're good. Kid. We're on YouTube. We're on YouTube. I got you. I got you. I, that's what I want. That's that picture like... looks like it's snapped ligaments. It looks like it's broken bones. Yeah. That's 31 yard punt, I think. Just so, boom. Just something to talk about. Speaking of athlete, hey, JJ, how many people you No, yeah. no, 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 no. Oh, with that no. Burnley stock going the other yeah. way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Need to hold we got on. some little relegation coming up. We ain't doing yeah, that many giveaways. I saw the lacrosse throw yesterday. That was horrendous. So I hope you have another one of those. <laughs> That, it wasn't oh, with a lacrosse gonna... ball. It's a hockey ball. Gage. And also, I, I want to hit the, you know, it's yeah. not good for the viewer. You didn't even make it halfway. You didn't even get halfway. Bro, should I aim high here? Oh, yeah. Oh, be careful. You don't want that thing to hit any lights. <laughs> I don't think, but I think it'll stick to it longer. All right, so if I make this with your shit-talking ass, mm -hmm. sounds like you're getting back in the Sunday mood. Yeah. Big time. That's why he's going to Cushing's. Go through a nice little workout, see if he still got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, Cush. Take me to your gym. Test me. Let's get my put the mask on me. Yep. Like the Gatorade commercial. Uh huh. Let me see my resting metabolic rate. <laughs> Turn on my remember big the name. lung thing. Yeah. This is twenty percent luck, thirty percent skill, fifty percent cardio power will. You know what I mean? That's what it's gonna be. Uh, how many? What am I doing here? What the fuck? I mand this how I hold this thing? Maybe, maybe move you that top it. hand up. No, no, no. Keep, keep put the more. put the golden dome helmet on. It yeah. helps. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Half asset. Got a fresh new haircut. Does Tyler throw uh, lacrosse balls around? Or Tyler I would is. assume so. He uh -oh. is lacrosse. Yeah, this one ain't gonna fit. I don't think. I don't think this one's gonna fit. Oh, it's it's, no. it's buckled. That looks cool. That looks cool. I will give you that. What's up, boys? Is that a real helmet? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Warm up. yeah, it's a golden dome. Oh, yeah. They wear the crow. Let's just call power cradle. That's yeah, power cradle. I'm uh -huh. power cradle. If you, if you want to do a front cradle. Uh, 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 Who? I'm makes... doing a full whoop de woo Yeah, if you, if you want. Whoop -de -woo. Oh, 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 you worried now, huh? How about this? 25 people, $500. I put this hockey ball out of the lacrosse stick into that hoop right over there, JJ. After yesterday's performance, I'm willing to risk that, yes. Oh, let's make it 30 people then. 30, yeah. 30 people. Might as well. Oh, power cradle. Lord. Let's go with 50. I'm retired. Like, I, don't, I don't got the cash flowing in. Yeah, but you're getting back on the field. We just learned that today. That was yeah. a big takeaway from today is you're playing for the Houston Texans this year. Yep. That's cool. <laughs> Next week. Detroit. No, he's out on Detroit. Yeah. Sorry, fellas. He loves Michigan. Yeah, but big power cradle. I play, I play well in that state. Every time I've played in that stadium, I, I well, love it. Stink, I love playing Detroit. Well, the Houston stadium as well. Yeah, touchdown on Thanksgiving. There it is. The hands were perfect. Right, right here? There. Yeah. All right, JJ, this is your ass. 30 people, $500 when this hockey ball mm -hmm. is in there. Don't be afraid to fucking whip that thing yeah. either. All right. 
Oh. He seems afraid. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. That's, that's what nice I'm talking shot. about. Nice. That, that, tired, got through the. I mean, that's a goal. That yeah, bottom line. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bouncy goal. Lacrosse is tough, dude. It's a tough sport. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I fully understand it. I wasn't built for it. I don't think I was built for it. My head doesn't fit. You're oh. more of a side shot guy. Yeah. Agreed. Oh, S- Jay same Jay. rules apply. Oh. Oh. No. 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 Yep. 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 Oh, well. Oh, Holy no. shit. JJ. At the buzzer there. There's, Splash. There was, there, was, there was no agreement there. There was no agreement. All right. Hope you're happy. <laughs> that was great. Hey, you did. Today's was a good one. Today's felt like a good one. Great. Oh, yeah. There was a lot of energy, a lot of juice. Oh, it was fantastic. Was yeah, it was really it was good. No I mean, way. if people don't love this show, they're, they they got to check themselves. They need to check themselves. JJ, those, there are a lot of people checking stuff out then. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? From what I've been told. You know what I mean? But nonetheless, appreciate the hell out of you, buddy. We'll see you next week. Appreciate you, boys. Have uh, a great one. Unless you're... Yeah, yeah, will we see him? Back in the Houston Texans yeah. walk uh, hey, from the team facility, yeah. When's that happen, you think? Listen, I'm, I might... Yeah, I might train there. I train there a lot. That's where whoa. I train. Oh, oh, yeah. I might train there. Okay, so let's just... It's a great gym. We're spitballing here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spitball. Mm-hmm. What would be the perfect week to get back? Like 13, probably. Yeah. yeah. Right? 13 feels like 18 week season. 13th week feels like the right one. A little bit over a month to get to your best football, which is going to be playoffs, or maybe a week before then, so you can get Ooh. back into football shape. What, what are we, what, if you had to, just spitball. Just spitball. Uh, I, I mean, you know how nice it is to wake up on a Monday morning and just feel good? It just feels great. That wasn't the question. Like that is the one thing that tr- trust me. I've, I I'll think about it. I'm not. A, I'm not a opposed to thinking about it. But like when you when you actually wake up on a Monday morning and your fingers feel good, your back feels good, mm-hmm. your legs, your knees feel good. You're like, work. why? Why would I do? Why would I not want this every time? Because legacy. Yeah. It's yeah. Right. Cool. In an environment, in a culture, one that you cultivated for a long time, seems to be back better than ever. Former teammate of yours now leading the prize. I mean, here we go. Perfect. That's why you would do that. And how many Mondays do you have in the off season? How many? How many Mondays do you have forever? Boom. So lot. many. Uh-huh. So many Mondays to feel good. So many Mondays to feel good. How's your daughter doing, by the way? I haven't asked about her in a while. How's your daughter? Well. I don't like how you just handled Deflected. that, but I do appreciate you bringing up Mackenzie. She's great. Got a great personality. She's standing. She's moving. She might walk before she crawls, which is, I don't know if that's good or that's bad. Love everything about her. Mama kicking ass. It's great. How about you? How's parenting? That's great, man. I love it. I love it. It's great. He's he's walking around. He's he's like, he's moving fast now. So we, uh, he can like, we're trying to get him, he's kicking a soccer ball around the backyard a little bit, like just accidentally, which is great. Um, it's it's awesome. It's it's imagine, the best. Imagine him on the sideline while well, turned down for Watts playing. Oh, he's doing Daddy. it. Mm-hmm. Daddy, AQ will it. tell you tomorrow after our walk. He'll, oh, yeah. he can, you can see him tomorrow on the walk. That's That'd be AQ. Can't wait. Hey, let's make sure we well, understand. Weather's great right now. You're in retirement. You're losing weight. Yep. He's coming back, so let's make sure we do a little brisk walk. Yep. Yeah. Do a little cardio. Test it. Mm-hmm. A little conditioning going. Yeah. This he said he hasn't run. We're gonna get a little. A little, a little pace going. Yeah. There you go. AQ's not I don't scared. know how AJ. AJ, how many kids do you really have? Uh, four. Dude, that is that is a lot. That is a lot of work. That is an you incredible amount of work. You guys will be there soon. Oh, I don't. I don't think we're going to four, man. I do not think we're going to four. Totally healthy. You done? Oh uh, yeah, we're probably done. We're not officially done. I'm not. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, yeah. The eye. Oh. Yeah, I might. We both. Well, yeah, we 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 should be done. Yeah, we're done most likely. Most. What's that mean? <laughs> this guy's awesome. Snip, snap, snip, well, we're both, snap. We're huh? both like 1%. We're both <laughs> like, <laughs> we, we're both in the same mindset. We're like, yeah, yeah, we'd take another one, but we're not. Oh, oh another dead. Teaser. Holy hell. They're adding JJ to the team. They're signing. Well, I think just, they are. Also, yeah. with the show schedule, it's hard to try to get in and get clipped as well. That's another thing that adds to it. Like, when would I go? What, snip, snap? They can do it at your house now. How long yeah. does it take? How long do it if yourself, they come to your too. house? Yeah, Bob, great to come to house. Bob will do it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, Bob. Might you're right. I can call a couple. Where buddies. are you guys this weekend? JMU, Har- Harrison Burke. Oh, nice, nice. Hell yeah, that's in Virginia. Yeah, it is. You- it's, it is. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's in the hills of West uh, Virginia, hey. Western. Virginia. Okay. Oh, okay. Which I'm excited to get down there. Pumped. A lot of friends live closer there than I went to school in West Virginia. <gasps> okay. I think it's only like uh, very close to the West Virginia border. Oh, that's mm. awesome. So I'm excited to get down there. Should be fun. Learn a lot about them. They have like the biggest uh, crowd maybe on record for college game day. 
the last time they were there. It was like the most amount of humans, I think, I, from what I've been told and what I've seen. So pumped to get down there, JJ. You want to come? Jonas Brothers are performing. Yeah. That'll be, that'll be, the Jonas Brothers are performing? Yeah. Joe Bros, Saturday morning. Goddamn you right. You heard him right. Wow. Strong That's enough. Amazing. It's their new song. Yeah, it's sick. Good one. Da, ba, ba. Also, yeah. play the hits. Let's not let's not go too far away from the hits, too. I don't think you're going to be hearing the hits on Saturday. <laughs> this is nope. a new hit. No, you're burn gonna... it up. Oh, what? Is it like a two hour they concert? They always or... play burn it up. Okay. I think they're playing <laughs> strong enough during the program. Okay. And then I believe there is a little bit okay. extra Joe Bros. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I think so. From what I've been told, just you're the ground on the situation because I've been on Joe Bros train for a long time. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to meet Nick and Joey and Logan. And yeah. <laughs> Maddie, oh Maddie, God. and Jeff, Joey, and Logan. <laughs> Who's your guest picker? I don't know. I do not know. The other brother. It's not the Joe Bros. It's not the Joe Bros. They're performing. Okay. Right. Okay, they're going to be. I got a question because I haven't followed it closely enough. How do you choose how much money the kick's worth every week? It just goes up. It's gone up. It's just kind of gone All up. All right. Because like one, one week I saw it was like 225 grand. Then well, it was like that, was, that was. Grand. Okay. So it starts with just my money. And then Herb Street will get a look at the person that's kicking mm-hmm. and then get a little information. And then Herbie will be like, <laughs> for this, I'll match. <laughs> yeah. if, this, if this one goes in, I'll match. And then one time Desmond was peer pressured into being forced to also match. So it got up to 225,000. But they literally. Uh, there was no shot of nope. that particular one going in. It was, it was the lacrosse ball of. Of kicks is what it was, yeah. Don't like what you just did there, but yes, that is that is an accurate assessment. We appreciate you. You'll match this weekend, yeah, ninety five thousand or ninety ninety thousand. Uh, absolutely not. No, I won't. The JMU seems like they could have some Aww. good kickers in the crowd. They seem like they could have some good kickers in the crowd, uh-huh. and uh, no, it's for the kids. All right, thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. A man who is in the Houston Texans Ring of Honor. And will be the first player to ever play in a stadium in which he has been memorialized on the stadium. Yep. Wow. JJ Watt. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, JJ.